Hi and welcome everyone. Today we're doing a video request from Dr. MLG and he says, Mr. Morgan, I have a video request. Can you show us uh, all the steps on how to download Gmetrics like on your screen because I need help on how to download it. Sincerely, Kevin the Ill. Well, Kevin the Ill, I'm going to help you out with that today. So let's take a look at how to actually uh, download Gmetrics. So if you're in my Santa Ana classes, you're going to want to go to the course information page on Blackboard to view the PDF on how to download. And if you're in my classes at Long Beach, you're going to want to go to your Moodle page uh, on how to download. And then I'm going to show you how to download it using my screen here. So this is my screen, and this is the website for uh, downloading Gmetrics. I'm going to put that website in the information box below so you should be able to see that if you just click show more and so right here you basically can download it in different languages and so I'm going to choose English right here which is the first one I click download and I'm using Firefox so my download box will appear up here in the top right yours might appear down here in the bottom left if you're using Chrome so I'm going to click on that click on the download and then you'll see that uh, when I do that it should uh, download right onto your screen so I click it right there and so now it says preparing to install okay so when you get to this screen it's just uh, this is the setup wizard so you'll click next and then you'll read through all of these terms in agreement and you'll make sure to read it really really closely just like I did right there you'll hit accept and then you'll click next all right, so uh, to, as far as choosing the setup type, you're typically going to just want to install the most common program features recommended for most users. So you click typical right here and you click on typical and then you click install. Okay, now I'm not sure how long this will take on my computer, but I'm running it with Windows 10 uh, with eight gigs of RAM. So we'll see how long this takes. Uh, if it takes a long time, oh, okay, there we go. So you click yes, I'm not sure if everybody could see that, but you just click yes, and then it's going to install right here. And again, I'm kind of doing this on the fly, so hopefully it works out well. But you'll go through, you'll install this, and then right here, um, you can just click finish, and then it'll install Gmetrics, okay? So that's how you install Gmetrics. Now I'm gonna minimize this. Uh, and then Gmetrics is already on my desktop right here. And so if you wanted to see Gmetrics after you install it, you could just hit the Windows key and type in Gmet and it'll just appear right there. Um, and so then you can click that and it's going to open up Gmetrics. Now right here, uh, that's how you install it. So pretty much that's the whole process right there. And then when it starts up, it's going to use that little startup pane right there. And then hopefully it'll launch in just a second here. And there we go. There's how it launches. And then you just sign in uh, with your username and password, or you go right here to sign up, okay? And if you forgot your password, you just click that. Then you go through and you can try all the tests that you have access codes for. Now, keep in mind, you're gonna need access codes to actually use Gmetrics. So uh, you're going to need the code that's posted on the Blackboard page or the code that's posted on the Moodle page, depending on which school of mine that you go to. Uh, if you need a code, uh, you could just click right here after you sign in and then you can go ahead and look at different ways if you're not affiliated with a school to uh, get the Gmetric system on your computer. So that's basically it. That's how the download works. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe, and then if you have a video request yourself, just go ahead and put it in the comment section below and then I'll get to that and I'll make a video on whatever it is you want to learn. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.